an excellent handicap-friendly Hawaii event. The author gives this luau a solid 10 out of 10 rating, as a handicap-friendly event find out why. A man walking around pretending to be the palm leaf weaver was actually the manager in disguise, making certain each customer had the best experience possible. Overcoming potential transportation woes. Features I wanted to avoid will cost on the roof of cement buildings, and those with weathered picnic tables sunken 9 inches of sand that would render a power wheelchair immobile. This one proved to be a handicap-friendly Hawaii event. Kamono Kau is located way over on the east side in a rather remote area of Oahu. It is situated in the lush florid area of the island. Behind the main stage is the dramatic rabbit island and turquoise Polynesian waters. The surface area is grassy volcanic land, barrier-free, and easy to navigate in a wheelchair or while strolling a baby carriage. The tables were covered in colorful tropical fabric, generously spaced apart for COVID-19 safety, and situated on a breezy cliff facing an extra-wide stage. Due to the expanse of the stage, the performances could host a large number of tables for close viewing. Each set boasted vivid colors, high-energy dancers, and melodious voices. The Tahitian dancers, my favorite, were exquisite. Although typically served buffet style, the dinners were served in box-pressed cardboard. I like a buffet because there are only certain foods I am able to eat. The pre-packaged meals contain two large servings for me, and comprise cuisine a bit too zesty for my overly bland diet. I wound up taking much of the food home with me. There were three tiers of luxury offered to this ticketed event. The highest tier included an orchid lay, extra alcoholic drinks, the closest seating to the stage, and souvenir photos. I chose the lowest price ticket because I didn't feel I needed the first class luxury. I don't drink alcohol because I have diabetes, and I brought my own camera for photos. However, when I saw the photos taken by the professionals, I bought them anyway as an add-on, after the cow ended. I purchased my tickets via Grappin when I saw they were having a sale plus a bonus discount code. I used the racket and portal to get a 6% rebate on purchases at Grappin, and I used the Bank of America Cash Rewards Visa, which gives another 5% rebate for online purchases. I wound up paying half price stacking these four discounts. Originally, I was seated at a table that wasn't the best location for a wheelchair user, but Lenny, the man walking around pretending to be the palm leaf weaver, was actually the manager in disguise. He was making certain each customer had the best experience possible while working undercover. He saw my situation and offered me an unsold table, which gave me a better view of the floor show. I had scheduled the handy van for transport to and from Kamonal Cow. Each way for two riders for the one-hour trip costs a total of F2 dollars for door-to-door -door service on the handy van. A city bus takes 1 hour and 35 minutes. Many years ago during mudslides, the trip took 6 hours returning from Sea Life Park at 4 p.m. on a city bus. I would not recommend using the city bus for a night journey. There were people stranded after the luau who assumed there were city buses running late at night, which there are none. I saw people from New York City who assumed they could call an Uber on demand and be picked up, but none were available. My handy van was over a half hour late, and there were a number of people trying to figure out how they would get back to Waikiki when I boarded. Car rental rates in Honolulu have been running as high as $1,000 per day, according to several news reports, because the rental agencies sold off their fleet or transferred their inventory to the mainland during the COVID lockdowns. Demand is high, but supply is low on Oahu. There are some handicapped spots outside the pay-to-park lot, which would save THE $5 parking fee, but access to a car is very difficult at the moment. The evening was a five-star event, but transfers to and from can be a major consideration, because this is way out in God's country. The grappling includes same-day admission to Sea Life Park, but the aquarium was still closed due to